Uh, Miss Choco. No, that's no. Miss Choco. Miss Ballman. Yes. All right. Would you like to tell us what happened? Uh, yes. Yeah, so it's not really an individual time. It's really over years of continuous barking of a dog that's just really become more than I can stand, to be honest. Um, what happens is that this person or someone in her house puts this dog out on a deck and the dog begins to bark and doesn't end for hours. Uh, the dog has visibility to at least four different streets, is near the entrance to the community, a school bus stop, and basically barks at all activity that it, that it takes in while it's out on this deck. I basically can't go to my mailbox, take my trash out, sit on my deck, work in my yard, talk to my neighbors, walk out to my garage without being barked at if that dog is on that deck. What's the proximity from your house to the deck? Uh, it's on the next street up, sort of catty corner. I'd say it's probably 100 yards. It's very loud. Is this a big dog? I don't, I can't see it. I just hear it. Okay. And this is a daily occurrence? I can't say it's a daily occurrence, it's frequent. I actually haven't been in my residence for the past month or so, so I can't testify to that. But I would say, typically in the warmer weather, when, I, when I'm outside, I hear it. Okay. And actually, I can hear it inside as well. I mean, I have to go in the house, turn up the volume on the TV just to drown it out. Have other neighbors expressed concerns? I really don't know. Most of my neighbors, immediate neighbors, are new people. So I don't know that they've been subjected to it over the years as I have. Now you said this has happened for several years and something obviously just finally triggered. Well, it was, it's happened for several years, but I, I can't remember exactly when it started to get worse, but it's, it was when the deck went in. So a deck was constructed that lifted up above. I think the dog previously was penned in the backyard and then they raised it up and put the dog on the deck, and so that's when the barking really got chronic. Okay. okay. Anything else you'd like to add? That's pretty much it. Okay. okay. Any townhomes? No, they're yeah. separate homes, but they're small, and the property uh, lots are small. Um, All right, Mrs. Chilcote. So our house is probably more like 250 yards, um, not 100 yards. I have a neighbors to in front of my house, about five. I have neighbors directly below me to the side. I can't even see her house from my house. Um, I have talked to all my other neighbors. I'm not having any concerns or complaints. Um, they said on a few occasions, you know, if somebody comes to the door or something, they hear the dog bark, but it's not incessant. Um, about a, my mom has been living with me for about two years, and about a year and a half ago, my mom, I walked in the door and my mom said, Somebody just called cursing and cussing at me, and I don't know who it was. And I didn't, my mom's sick and not well, and she didn't really under, you know, <coughs> convey what the situation was. So I dialed the number back. I said, hi, did you call? Um, and I got nothing, but I don't even think she was sober. It, if she was, it was sad. Um, she was very rude to me. She cursed me out. Um, I didn't know who she was. She said something about my dogs being out. I said, listen, I just got home. My dogs are in my house. Um, they're not out, but if they're ever bothering you, please call me. Here's my number. If there's a concern, I'm, I mean, I have, I'm great friends with all my neighbors. They're not new. There's one guy below that's new. And as a matter of fact, he, um, no, not, there's been a few neighbors that have suggested that there's been some harassment by um, Kim in the past, because I did not even know her. And I started inquiring and saying, hey, you know, I'm getting this, I just got this letter. Are you guys having issues with the dogs that I'm not aware of? Um, they said no, but we have had issues with her in the past um, of being bullied. So I do not leave my dogs out for hours at a time. I have, I have caregivers that come and take care of my mom. I've completely explained to them that they're to walk the dogs and bring them in, not to put them outside. Um, it's very difficult for me that she can't even tell me what dog, that what kind of dog I have. Um, there are plenty of other people that have dogs in the neighborhood. 
So maybe it's their dog outside barking incessantly and she, you know, it is, I'm on a hill and she's below. Maybe the way that the echo is coming, it's another dog, I'm not really sure. But I have been very kind to her the first time she called cursing at me and being rude to me to please call me if that's ever happened. Never ever heard from her again and then all of a sudden I got this. Um, Ms. Palman, I have a question for you. You just stated in your testimony that you did not, you've never seen this dog yet. On both of your citations, you have it listed as a brown mixed breed type of dog. So how from is that From what possible? I can see. I mean, I see it from a distance, so that's what I can make out. Okay. I mean, I live in a community where like, if there's an issue, I, I have no problem with anybody coming and talking to me or I mean, anything. So, I mean, I've had other issues with other neighbors. I go directly to them. I try to resolve it. This to me just seems Ridiculous. Not only that, I'm taking time from work. She's taking time from work. I've been more than open that she could call me with any issues or if my dog is ever doing anything. And I've had no other complaints regarding this. Um, may I, have, I have a question. Is, was it Coco? Chick I'm Chick 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 Coco? She's a no, no. She's a I'm Chuck. No, but I want to. How far did you say that? House, your house is on the floor. I, I don't know how many feet it is, 100 feet, 200 feet. It's on another street. It's up above. Okay. Wait, it's I can 100 see. yards before. I thought you I, said I 100 yards. I can't judge yards. yards. It's, up, it's a street above. It's Caddy Corner. I can see the deck okay. from my property. Okay. My thinking was I don't believe Anne Arundel County has a law or just anything in place where if, if the house is over 100 yards apart, whereby um, the <coughs> barking of a dog is restricted. I need to double check as we talk, but that, if it's 100 feet, I'm not sure. Whoever knows the guideline, but 100 feet, anything less, more than 100 feet, doesn't seem like there's a law for it, but I read this stuff and I stop reading it, so I'm not well, sure. That's I, and not that that's not important. I think the most important thing is, is that I, I'm happy to give her my number, and if she has any concerns or complaints or thinks it's my dog in the future, to please reach out. Like I have, I have every, op I have no desire to impede anybody's lifestyle or happiness. And in, in is your my dog space. the only dog in the community? Here? No, there are lots of dogs, but that's the only one that's offensive. Okay. <coughs> are you willing to reach out to her when you do have a problem? No, I'm not. Okay. okay then, up, oh, freaking up. Well, okay. Y'all didn't watch the Super Bowl together, that's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> well, the only other interaction I've had, I've been okay. called many, many names. So um, that's what I'm saying is that I really, I, even since her phone call, I've been super mindful to all my neighbors and saying, is there an issue? Is there something I'm missing? Um, I do not leave him outside to bark incessantly. Okay. It's just, he, so the he's dog a, was barking last Tuesday when I took the trash out at 8.30 in the morning. Tra barked at me the entire time. Next time I went out the following day during the Arctic chill, the dog was out barking on the deck at one o'clock. I came back from my appointment at three o'clock, the dog was still barking. I thought you were been at there for the last month. Do you have any evidence, ma'am? Do you have any video, any audio evidence? Anything I have something like that? on my cell phone. Is it time stamped? It's one date stamped month. October, I think. So it's nothing from the dates that you have on your citation? No, because I didn't think of it until afterward. And it was barking again, so then I recorded it. Ms. Jockett, how many do you have? I have two dogs. Two. Are they big? One is a mini Australian Shepherd and the other is a Beagle Boxer Shepherd who doesn't bark at all. Yeah, so a mini Aussie? It's the mini Aussie that I, I if, if, it, if there was one that barks and it's when someone comes to the door, I have Meals on Wheels that brings my mom food. He barks it, you know, inside the house most of the time. <coughs> He's not out for longer than 10 minutes. Okay, and the Boxer mix? Beagle mix. Boxer, Beagle. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I'm struggling here with your first comment that the distance between the house and the dog is 100 yards. Yeah. Then it went to 100 feet. Yeah. And then you said 250 yards. So I'm really struggling here with the kind I of cannot see her house from my property. Did mm -hmm. anyone bring a map? I did not. No. Um, I mean, 250 yards is almost from here to the stoplight out there, yeah. on, you know, the highway. Yeah. Okay, it's not that far. I, I can see the person below me. I can see the person over here. Her house is, is far to the corner and down. I, I can't see it. 
Did anybody bring any witnesses with them at all? Any other I, I just have a letter from a neighbor, and I had I actually had other neighbors that were willing to do this, um, but <coughs> they uh, again because there had been some other harassment issues. Are your, I, letter, are your letters notarized? It's not. So. I, and again, I wasn't going to put my neighbors through that because it said there was other harassment issues but from this particular neighbor in the past. Are any other dogs in the neighborhood between your house and hers? Um, yes, I think so. I mean, I think there's there's a lot of people that have dogs. Okay. Are these single family homes? You're disagreeing? Yeah. Yes. I disagree. That there's no dogs between? My next door neighbors recently just got a dog. I haven't heard him bark yet. That's the only dog that I'm aware of between her place and my house. There's greyhounds across the street. There's dogs over in this house to the side. There's another dog over here with the screen porch. There's dogs all around. I think for me, it's not so much a distance thing. Is that I, I don't have anything in front of me that is confirming that it's her dog barking like a video from the day of the citation. Um, not that you have to bring evidence, I'm just saying it helps me know that that was a, what type of barking is happening, or duration of barking, that, that does help us make a decision. Um, again, you don't, you're not, you don't have to provide that, but it helps. And I would say that I think a lot of people are under, under the impression that during the day they can let their dogs bark. I'm not saying that's what you're doing, but there is no noise ordinance that's like after 10 p.m. they have to be quiet. When it comes to barking dogs, it's 24-7. Agreed. They cannot be out barking at 1 o'clock in the afternoon, 3 o'clock, 7.30 in the morning. They cannot be left out there barking. So I'm just saying going forward, keep that in mind, that there is not a noise ordinance on barking. Agreed. So it, I don't it, know if that kind of spares you in the future that you'll know that. Mm -hmm. um, but I'm just having a hard time because I don't know for sure it's your dog and I don't know what kind of barking's happening and I don't know duration of barking. I would I need a little bit more to move on that. I don't know how Rios feels, but that's no. kind of where I am at the moment. No, <coughs> we have two citations, mm -hmm. right? So we have one right. is uh, the car getting public nuisance. And the other is animal disturbance. 124904, 124903. Um, the 124903, I'm not, I'm really not getting a lot for that one either. The 124904 with the barking, I mean, that's really the only one that I'm discuss but I've been with you there's not a lot of evidence or witnesses or a lot to and I, I think do. it's just actually really sad that even as um, mr. Royster was trying to ask well is that a question <coughs> that if there is a few you know something in the future could you reach out and she's not even willing so I mean I'm, I'm the defendant here taking my time out because some buddy that I don't even know thinks that I have a dog that's barking incessantly um, that I do not, and there is even still no um, willingness on her behalf to, to work as normal neighbors. So it just seems to me she has a lot of time to waste, and this is not the first person that she's harassed. And I'm getting to the point that I'm thinking of, of I do not ever want to be here again where I'm taking my time out of my work day, I have a sick mom, I have two children, I have a lot going on that this is, this is ridiculous to me. I appreciate no that's the neighborly thing to do, but it, it's not her responsibility. She doesn't have to, and she's not required to put sure. up noise or to contact you if she doesn't want to. But so even when she did I, contact it's the neighborly me, it was to do. very rude the way that she cursed at my mom and me. Understood. And and I just don't even again. There's no evidence. There's and and I mean if I. My dog does not sit outside barking all day, yeah. so I think she just has the wrong person. And I don't have any evidence of that, so that's where I am with that, but I'm just letting you know that I know it's the neighborly thing to do, but I also right. understand that she doesn't have to call anybody and, and sure. do that neighborly thing. She can just report it to the appropriate people she, and deal right. with it in that way, and that's okay, too. And she has the right to <coughs> submit further affidavits 
on you know for complaints that are similar in nature. She with video has that experience with evidence, sure, and we, you know, so sure. And I, I, I again, encourage her to do correct. so. Right, <laughs> without contacting yes. you. So that's fine. That's I encourage her to that do that. But like I said, there is also a history of harassment with others. Well, here today we're we're on two citations, and that's what Perfect. we're going to focus on today. So, any more comments before we? Um, my, my opinion is that Ms. Baldwin here has the burden of proof to provide evidence that that's the dog. And if you can't even see the property from your home. I can't you, see the property from my home. But you said earlier you couldn't. No, I didn't. You said you can't see her property from I can't see her property from my home. Is that because there was another house in between or it's the distance? Um, or there's what? trees. It's over to the <coughs> side. I can maybe see um, maybe a garage of hers. But her house is beyond that. I cannot see it. So I feel like today I don't have enough evidence to um, uphold these two citations. However, she is well within her right to file again. Absolutely. And bring additional evidence and, you know, move forward mm -hmm. with uh, maybe a stronger I mean, I case. take your, so. if you hear the barking again, I'd take your phone and walk towards that barking and record it and time, time stamp it. Bring that proof here. And okay. Of course, witnesses are, are welcome. We hear testimony, so you know anything. I only have one question. You said that you thought the animal up on the deck was brown. Mm -hmm. Brown. Okay. So basically, you're just saying one brown. You only said one. Okay. And it's brown. Yeah. Uh, you might even. Uh, no, I'm not even going to suggest that. No. no. Uh, I think you're going to have to prove a little bit more than what's here on the table. And on your part, if you can, I, I know you're trying very hard, if you can monitor when your dogs go out and if they do bark. Because if she brings any more, you've got yours. Okay? Sure. It, it works both ways. Sure. Works both ways. Dogs have to bark. I'm sorry. I, I, I mean, if bark, somebody I'm comes to the door, he will bark. And if she videos it, he'll bark and she'll have that on video. But are we talking like five seconds and, you know, he stopped barking? Or are we talking for yeah, 10 minutes? Showing that he barks for five seconds and stops barking. Yeah. That's what you can okay. prove of what your dog is actually doing. Yeah. Okay. Do dogs do bark and they are allowed a reasonable amount of barking. Yes. But they, it, we are looking at the, the code. Correct. 124903 in this case and 124904. So that's. That's I will do my best to And I monitor. appreciate that. <laughs> okay. Motion. Thank you. Uh, you can do it because I would dismiss it. Yes. Yeah, well, that's what's going to be my motion. Okay. Make your motion. Okay, I make a motion that we uh, dismiss this uh, case. case. Both, both, both citations. Both, both, both citations for now. I second it. Okay. All in favor? Yeah. Okay. You've yeah. heard the. Yeah. Thank you, ma'am. Thank, Thank you, you both yeah. very much. And just build your own cases, okay? Thank you. Hopefully not needed, but that's what your right is. <laughs>